Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. In today's video we're gonna be checking out a brand new game that hasn't been released just yet. The game is called Above Snakes and this one is an early access that I received from developer uh, which I'd like to take the opportunity to thank for providing it uh, to share the game with you all. And of course if you all find this one interesting and want to support the project go ahead and check out the Kickstarter link down below in the description. Also if you want to go on Steam and just uh, wishlist it, add to your wishlist as soon as it's gonna come out you're gonna be able to get it then uh, go ahead and do that as well. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm actually looking forward to play this game just because I've been really intrigued by it. I'm really impressed by what the developer has created here. And although we kind of played something quite similar to this one, uh, the game is called Lint Island. I do believe that this one's gonna have its own twist and it's gonna be really interesting. And I cannot wait to see what it's all about. So with that being said, sit back everybody, relax, and uh, let's just jump into Above Snakes together. Let's do this. Alright, now do keep in mind this is a pre-alpha version of the game. Uh, the game isn't quite there just yet, but uh, at the moment, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Hold to hit a berry bush. Okay. I mean, you can either click or hold. Oh, never mind. You gotta hold it if you want to actually hit it. If I just click, it's kind of the twigs going through it. Interesting. I walk over the berries to collect them, of course. There we go. Uh, to open your inventory, you gotta place on tab. Alright, I kind of like this. So we are going to have a backpack, a crafting uh, section, and cooking section. Interesting. Alright, and at the bottom, of course, we do have the uh, quick slots, right, for the inventory. Now, I do see some stones over here, but I cannot really grab them. Hmm, interesting. Uh, let me grab some more berries then. Okay, so I also noticed something over here. We are going to have hunger, thirst... Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the brain is going to be. Oh, the sanity reduces at several uh, at several occasions, such as when searching a grave or when exploring the world. What? Can I also grab me some stone? I mean, I can, but not with a twig. I gotta make me some better tools, of course. And same for the tree. Can I really grab a tree like that? Hmm. Now, let me see if I can craft something, though. How can I craft me a better tools? I mean, this is where I could craft me some stuff, but apparently we don't really have anything, right? Uh, to open your inventory, to satisfy your hunger, open the inventory to eat some. All right, so let me go through the tutorial here, I guess. Uh, let's eat up some berries by, by simply dragging them. Can I? Oh, I'm just eating them. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> All right, hold to hit a tree. I mean, of course, we don't have an axe, right? So this is not going to work. Walk over the sticks that fell. Oh, so you can grab the sticks out of from the ground. I get it. You're not really grabbing the whole tree, but at least I'm grabbing some sticks, right? Hmm. Yeah, so maybe we're gonna need some of these twigs in order to make like a fire or something. I don't know. All right, let me grab me some of these as well. To open the inventory and select the crafting menu tab. All right, hold up. Let me grab me some more berries and some from over here as well. We'll add it. The process, of course, is going to be a little bit slower here as we're trying to get ourselves better tools. All right, so if I go into tab, uh, resources, so these are, these are the twigs that we got, right? But we got to go into crafting, and look at this, we can actually make ourselves an axe. Huh. There we go. Uh, so we got to go into the tools here, and I think I'm going to put this one into one. All right, let me switch it. There we go, that's what I'm talking about, and now we can finally get ourselves some trees. There we go, buddy. Use the axe to chop and gather logs. And not only logs, but we're also getting twigs, right? When we're chopping down trees. Hmm, interesting. Now craft a pickaxe from twigs and logs. Ah, so of course we are gonna need a pickaxe in order to get the stone right. And you also get me some more berries while we add it. I see that these berries keep on respawning though. Hmm. All right, let me try to grab me a few more over here, and then I'm going to make me a pickaxe. Come on, buddy. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and make a pickaxe right over here, then. We have enough. Interesting. Uh, can I maybe switch this one to three? I don't know how to put it into three. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to... Actually, hold up. I gotta go here, and now I gotta place it into two. As for the food, let me place this stuff into nine, maybe? And the water... Uh, actually, let's go with that. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Use the pickaxe to pick up a mine. Uh, to mine up stone. 
I see there's also some rabbits. I feel like we're gonna be able to also go hunting a little bit. But I'm probably gonna need, like, a uh, better tool, right? Like a uh, bow and arrow, maybe. Alright, we got three stone. I think I have another one over here. Now it's time to explore the world around. Move to the northern tile edge and explore. Make sure that you have at least two logs and one rock to pay the exploration cost. Ah. So if you want to go ahead and explore, you are going to have to pay like a fee. Interesting. Hmm. All right, in that case, let me get me more wood from over here. And hopefully this is going to be enough for us to pay the exploration uh, cost. This is really interesting though. All right, so let's explore the world and unlock a new area. Uh, explore. Ah, so this is where you choose what you want. Pine forest. I mean, all of them are pine forest, but I'm guessing in the future we're going to have multiple tiles to choose from, right? So I guess I'm going to go with... Um, hmm. Actually, this one has multiple crafting materials, so let's go with this one instead. This one has the most amount of resources. What? The way it comes down, though, that was so cool. Cut dry plants with your axe to get plant fibers. Hmm. I think I need to craft a workbench, yeah, but uh, in order to do that, I may actually need some fiber. New cooking recipe discovered. Look at that. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we got... Oh, we got a flint as well. So I'm guessing I'm going to need that for uh, making fire, right? And cooking, of course. All right, this is the fiber. Oh, you know what? I see blueberries in this one. So in the other section, we had the red berries. In this one, we, ha we got blueberries by the looks of it. Yeah, look at that. These are different. Huckleberries, actually. Never mind. Interesting. All right, hold up. We are going to have to make ourselves a, a workbench, right? I wonder if I'm going to need more wood, though. Let me just gather a little bit more wood here. Just in case we need it, I guess. Currently, I'm really enjoying the art style of this game, though. It's really beautiful. And I really like the idea of going through all of these tiles and unlocking more as you keep on progressing and paying, of course, in order to unlock more. It's a really interesting uh, concept I've never seen before. All right, let me also get me more fiber out of these ones, and I think we should be all good. All right, we got a little bit more fiber over here, and seriously, there you go. Now, I wonder, can I maybe zoom into the character? Oh, we can zoom into the character. Look at this. I really wanted to see her a little bit from up close. It's really awesome. At least a little bit, right? All right, let me grab a little bit of this, and then I'm going to have to also eat up something and drink some water. Uh, let me go ahead and eat berries, I guess. And another one, and another one, and another one. And also, let's drink a little bit of water, at least. There we go. All right, let me go into the inventory, place this one into seven, I guess. And let's see if you can craft me a workbench. Um, oh, it's actually right over here. There we go. If I want to place it, some items such as workbenches need to be set up in the world in order to be used. Open the inventory to set up the workbench. Ah, so this is the furniture, right? Set up. So, of course, this is where I'm going to place it right over here. Hmm, what can we craft then? Upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade it, but of course we need more logs, right? All right. In that case, let me go ahead and get me more logs right over here. I kind of knew that we we're going to be able to uh, upgrade it to a higher level then. I got a six logs and use the workbench to upgrade it. All right, there we go. We got the logs. Let me upgrade this one to tier two. Upgrade. Interesting. And what now? Oh, and now we can make... Actually, no, we need steel ingots, clay, and quest token if I want to upgrade it to the next tier. But apparently I can uh, build up the foundation. What? All right, so we got two foundations, right? Interesting. Uh, e to interact with the workbench. You can now begin to build your base. Craft as many foundations as you'd like uh, for your workbench. But of course, if I want to make a bigger uh, station here, I do need more wood. Oh, we got a pine cone. I wonder, what can he, I wonder what we can do with the pinecone, though. I know that in games such as uh, Start of Valley, of course, you can use those pinecones to plant more trees. Uh, but I wonder if this is a thing in this game. I don't think it is. Because trees and everything seems to keep on spawning, respawning back here, right? So I don't think you can actually plant trees in the game. All right, let me make me more of these platforms. So at the moment, we got four. This is going to be... Five, six, 
seven, and that's going to be about it, I guess. All right, let me go ahead and place one, I guess, for now, and then uh, we'll see what else we got to build. So, uh, we can rotate it. We can change the floor level. Ah, that is so cool. Apparently, it's not really allowing me, but anyway, uh, let me place you right over here. I mean, I guess that should do for now. There we go. Uh, crap building parts at workstation. So I think we are going to have to make different stuff. Yeah, look at that. We need doorways, uh, windows, and walls. But of course, we still need more twigs and wood. So let me go ahead and start chopping some more. Hmm. I kind of don't like this that sometimes we are way too close to the trees. And our axe is not really going through it for some reason. Aha! Uh -huh. So if the tree is kind of touching the outskirts here, uh, it is going to drop its loot inside the area so you can collect it. That is great. For a second there, I thought it's going to fall off the ground, but uh, nah, we're safe. Alright, buddy, there we go. Let me try to get as much stuff as possible. I mean, look at this. It does seem like we are going to have day and night cycles, which is really great. I really love this. I really hope that... I'm not sure if at the moment we do have a photo mode. I don't think we do have that. But hopefully in the future, the devs also going to implement that. Because I absolutely love photo modes in these type of games. Because it kind of allows us to uh, check the world that we built from a different perspective. And I definitely want to see that. All right, now, we do have a little bit more stuff over here. Uh, let me just chop down this last tree on this section that we got. Of course, I can go back to the other one, which uh, already has more trees there by the looks of it. But I wonder if we can also plant some trees using these pine cones. Let me just check and see. So we do have the miscellaneous. Let me select six for... Oh, I cannot select six for this one. And the only option I have with it is to discard it. Hmm. Maybe we can use it to stoke the fire. I don't even know. But anyway, let me just grab me more materials. I think I want to make one... Uh, five of these, yeah. Let's make five of these then. All right, we got five. Let's make a few walls. Two, three, four, and five walls. Let's make uh, some windows as well, I guess. I don't know, four windows maybe. One doorway. And I guess a few more walls. Let's go with four more walls. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but I'm definitely going to start building a little bit. So, let's see. First of all, I want to finish... Oh, God. I messed it up. No! Uh, how can I cancel this? Dang it. Hmm. Um, I don't know how to cancel this. I really want to remove this one because I messed it up. Build parts, crafting. Um, can I even remove stuff once you place it? I wonder. Oh my god, no. Seriously, come on, game. I really want to remove this. I got no clue how to remove it. Apparently, you can actually make a second floor if you want to. That is pretty sick. Seriously, how do I remove this? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know how to remove stuff once you uh, misplace it though. Hmm. It doesn't like I can use the axe on it. So I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work. Anyway, let's make some walls, I guess. Alright, let's also place the windows as well. Let me get one over there. Two more over here. I guess we're going to have a window over there. Uh, for six, we're going to have a door on this side. Uh, this is so messed up that I didn't manage to put this properly. I'm not quite sure exactly what to do. So I guess I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Just like that. Alright, we got ourselves a little hut. There we go. <laughs> Alright, to finish the cabin, you can craft roofs and add them on top of the building. Uh, so, we can add rooftops. I guess I'm going to make, I don't know, six of these, hopefully. Nope, never mind. Uh, four, let's see. Hmm. So, of course, you can rotate them like that. Your cabin is your main base. You can always come back and start over from here. If something goes wrong, I think. Uh, hold up. How can I... How can I remove the walls? Oh, my God. We got to figure out how to build stuff. Oh, there we go. That is how you fix it. All right. 
So I do want to remove that. Um, can I maybe rotate the screen though? Because I cannot see behind these walls. Hmm. Uh, remove that, I guess. Oh, you can even move stuff if you want to. Interesting. Huh. E. Let me move this one inside here, I guess, because I also want to... Um, remove this one completely from here. Move this one on the side like that. And remove this one. There we go, we fixed it, finally. Right, this is going to be closing here. Uh, this one is also going to be closing here. But I do need more rooftops, so let me make me... Oh, I cannot. Hmm. I have a feeling once you're actually removing stuff, you're not really getting your materials back. Hmm. So that is a little bit messed up, though. I was really hoping I would actually get my materials back, the ones that we used to make those platforms over there. But I think we actually lost it. Anyway, all I need is uh, just a few more rooftops, if I'm not mistaken, three more. Or maybe two more, and then I'm gonna be able to maybe bake like a bed so that we can go to sleep and reset the day here. Because my character is actually a little bit sleepy at the moment. Right, hold up. Let me grab this tree as well. I'm also really enjoying the music, the soft music in the background. It's really good. Alright, so of course, as I was saying, we need to make ourselves a... Uh, two more rooftops, which is gonna be one. Wait, what? What did you do? Just one? I need two more. What? Hmm. Anyway, uh, we got that. Let me go with five and place these ones. One, two, and three. There we go. The house is ready. But of course, next up, I do need to make a bed. So for the bed, I think I'm gonna need um, one more log. Thankfully, we do have the blueprint, right, for the beds. Apparently, we're also gonna have to figure out how to get some of these blueprints. Maybe we're gonna be able to find them around the world as we keep on exploring. But at the moment, of course, it had to give us the bed blueprint so that we can get ourselves a little bit of sleep here and rest. So lastly, I'm gonna make myself a bed right now. Although it's already morning, I do have to go to sleep either way. Just because we do have to go through the tutorial, right? All right, we got the bed. And the bed is gonna go right in, I guess over here, next to the window. Just like that. And rest. <sighs> Here we go. Awesome. You are now ready to start your journey and explore the world. You have a map which you, uh, will help you on your way. Quests and points of interest are marked. Hmm. All right, let's see. Whoa, this is so cool. I like it that we have a map though. That is so cool. All right, so of course, the next area that we are supposed to explore, it's gonna be on this side. But in order to go there, I need logs. So let me chop down some more trees over here. I kind of also like the idea that in order to explore more, you got to pay, right? You got to pay a cost in order to keep on exploring a little bit. It's really interesting. Uh, my backpack is full, so I cannot carry more stuff. Oh, I cannot carry more twigs? Hmm. So maybe you can only carry a certain amount of a specific item? You cannot carry more of this in my backpack. Ah, I get it now. All right. Let me go ahead and eat up something real fast. Oh, look at this. The huckleberry are also giving us uh, water as well. Interesting. All right, let me explore this side then. Uh, survival camp. Hmm. Oh, look at that. There's going to be characters we can meet. Are you kidding me? Hey, buddy. Hmm. Greg. Hey, we set up camp. Uh, we fled our homes, our Corpse Creek. This is our temporary home now. Hmm. Okay. What about this fella? Hmm. Oh, he's got a quest for me. No way. New quest available. Lost provisions. Uh, we've been out here for days and can't go home. This fire and a handful of provisions are all we stand between us and the grave. During our escape from Corpse Creek, we lost most of our provisions to the lost souls when they attacked us. Please, help us get those provisions back. Find the cart with the, provis with the provisions. Hmm. Uh, no way, I love it. This is really cool that you're actually getting yourself some quests here. We found some clay, apparently. And of course, I'm going to get myself some more food from these fellows because we definitely have to have a little bit of here if you want to keep on progressing, right? So let me try to get more stuff, including, of course, some more woods. 
Now, I wonder if there's gonna be any possibilities of fast traveling back to our huts. Hmm. That may be a thing, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I cannot carry any more of uh, twigs, of course. I wonder if I can make myself like a... Um, hmm. Like a box or something where I can put some of these twigs that we cannot carry anymore. Alright, let me check the map for a second. So apparently the next area that we're supposed to uh, discover is this one right over here. Next to our house. Which I'm definitely going to go ahead and open that one up. Yeah, look at that. Our backpack is kind of full on pines as well. We kind of get it full on everything here. But most importantly, we got to find like a river or something because we are kind of slowly running out of water. At the moment, we still have 75% out of the water, but uh, very, very soon we're going to run out of it. Now, I wonder, can I maybe stoke the fire for these fellas? At the same time, let me see what we can find here. Hmm. I keep on finding a lot of clay in their boxes here. Uh, anything in this box? Hmm, flint. Alright, hold to light the flyer. There we go, buddies. And add fuel. That is awesome. Hold to cook. Oh, we can actually make flour and make coal. Hmm. Interesting. You can also craft stuff here. Like, make glass and iron ingots. Interesting. This is so cool. Alright, let's see what this box is going to have, and then I'm going to go uh, and explore the next area. Alright, we got another flint. I do see some more berries over here that I really want to get, including the tree, why not? And lastly, let me get this thing. Alright, not bad. Uh, we got enough stone, I think, to explore the next area. So let me open up another section here. I know that it's kind of getting late. I am going to go to sleep in just a second. But first of all, let me open this one up as well. Explore the world. The prairie, level 1. Might the provisions of the survivors be lost somewhere here? I don't know. I guess we can check it out. <laughs> that was a bunny that ran away. Dang it. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to try to uh, get me that bunny. But first, oh, look at this. We are really thirsty right now. Hmm. Uh, let me eat a little bit of these things to also increase our hunger. And while we do that, apparently also our thirst is also being increased. So let me eat a few more. Alright, perfect. That is awesome. And uh, let me go to sleep and reset the day here. <sighs> Alright, there we go. A brand new day has started. Now, I do see that the trees are not growing back in this region that we are on. Which, um, I may need the, co the pine cones for that. I don't even know. But first, uh, pluck. What do you mean pluck? Oh, what are these? New, cook new cooking recipe. Oh, I think these are mint. Interesting. So every single area we are finding, by the looks of it, is going to have different type of resources we can collect. I kind of like that. Right, let me open this up. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Open it up. There we go. Right, collect more resources while we add it. Can I collect these ones? Uh, no, but these ones are going to have fiber for me, right? Yep, there we go. Whoa, wild carrots. Huh. All right, we got a little bit of cotton as well. Oh my god, so many materials. This is tobacco by the looks of it. And some more recipes over there. Oh, hold up. We are really thirsty. So let me drink a little bit of water here. Let me also eat up a little bit of berries while we're at it. And a little bit of these ones as well. And uh, let me try to take me more stone. Why not? While we're also going to grab the resources that those fellas have lost for the quest, I'm also going to go ahead and collect a little bit of stone and others as well. Why not? Let me collect more tobacco. Let me also grab these ones. There we go. And also let me grab me more fiber. And the tree as well, why not? All 
Alright, perfect. What about... These are the provisions that the survivors lost. I should return to them. Okay, so how do I do that, though? Did I already take it from them or what? Handmade. Make a cigar. <laughs> Seriously? Huh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly what this is all about. Uh, it does say that I should return them to them. I don't think you actually have to return the whole uh, crate to them. I guess I'm just gonna have to tell them about it. I don't even know. Uh, while we're at it, let me also get me more stone out of this one then. A little bit of cotton from the top and then I'll just go ahead and tell the uh, survivors about their loot. Now, hold up. Let me check the map for a second. It doesn't look like we have any more resources, although we do have these ones that look kind of green, right? So I wonder if these ones that are green, if they're going to give me better resources. Hmm. Anyway, first of all, let me go ahead and chat with these fellas, tell them about the resources that we just found. Hopefully, that's going to allow them to go ahead and pick it up, I guess. And then we can also finish up the quest for ourselves. Hmm. Oh, thank heavens. This should be enough to keep us going for another couple of months, at least. I hope we can go home to Corp Creek someday. Hmm. I saw that he actually gave me one of those coins. Yeah, these ones. The quest tokens. Common miscellaneous items. Quest tokens are a bounty of quest progress. Use them to upgrade your workbench. Oh, so we can upgrade our workbench now because we needed that. I know. And we also needed some clay. Yes. So if I go back to my workbench over here... Uh, never mind. We actually need a steel ingot, actually three of them, and one more clay, which of course we don't have just yet. Interesting. Uh, in that case, let me go to the top here because this area, right, is gonna be green right over here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hold up. We have another quest on the sides. I could take this path instead and go like this because all of these are gonna be green. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that instead. Also, can I do something with that carrot? No, but we can definitely eat it. At the quick bar, hold to this card, then eat. Yeah, never mind. In that case, let me go to the bottom here and open up another area. Let's see how many resources we're going to need for this one. Um, hmm, not that many. All right, so this one's going to be a pine forest. No water sources. Seriously, come on, game. I need some water sources. Um, let me go with a lot of crafting materials then. Oh, look at that. We got... Oh! Oh my god, is that... Oh my god, these are zombies! Are you kidding me right now? There's zombies in this game? I had no idea, but I love it. You guys know that I always love survival games with zombies. For some reason, I cannot hit this guy. <laughs> of course, he also hit me. There we go, buddy. God dang it. We got bones out of it. Wait, am I actually bleeding? No, I don't think I am. No, no, no. Hmm. In that case, let me open up another area here. We gotta get to some water sources. And unfortunately, I cannot find any water sources anywhere. What the... What's that? Oh, I think this guy is spitting stuff. Yeah, look at that. He's also destroying stuff while he's doing it. Did he actually destroy himself? <laughs> I think he actually killed himself. What the heck was that? Right, let me get me more stuff over here because we are slowly getting very, very thirsty. Let me eat up as many as we can. Well, I also have to collect more, of course. Oh man, this is so annoying. We gotta find some water, though. We gotta find a source of water somewhere. Hold up, zombie. Don't worry about it, buddy. I mean, at least we can eat these berries to increase our health. Uh, and also uh, thirst. The Lonely Cabin, level 2. A mysterious cabin in the woods far away from civilization. Who could be the owner that chose such a lonely life? Hmm. So is this the mission area? Yes, it is. Hope we can find some water or something in here because we are really thirsty. Let me drink a little bit. Uh, let's also eat a little bit. New quest. Oh, look at this. We can actually grab logs out of this place. Interesting. All right, we got all of it. I think there's going to be a quest inside. Yeah, let me check out. Let me check out the house here and see what it's all about. Oh, add it. Let's also check out the barrels. Iron ore. Hmm. And uh, 
Tinor. Crafting materials, new crafting uh, unlocked, I guess. Or maybe recipes. All right, there we go, perfect. I see that my health has kind of went down a little bit. Oh, there we go, there's the, there's the guy. Hmm. Stark, the lumberjack. Oh, hi there, very pleased to meet you. I'm Stark and this is my home. The woods uh, were such a nice and safe place before the lost souls began roaming around here. Such a shame. Luckily for me, I don't live in the Corpse Creek. I've heard dreadful things about that night. I'm so worried about some of the folk there, though. Say, could you do me a favor? I'll explain a little bit later. Find the skull of a dead animal in a pine forest. Hmm. Okay, buddy. First of all, though, let me get me more resources from here. So we got the rope. We got hide. Uh, we got another blueprint. Look at that. And more rope. Hmm. Can I maybe rest in this guy's bed? <laughs> There we go, we did it. Interesting. I was not expecting to be able to rest in his bed, but that's fine. All right, so apparently I gotta go somewhere, but where? Hmm. I gotta find a skull of a dead animal in a pine forest. Finish the quest at Stark. It doesn't look like I can go anywhere to find this. The big problem that we're having right now is that we're running out of water. We have just one more drink available. Oh, there's the bones. I think I see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But of course, I'm going to have to take care of this zombie over here, first of all. Animal skull. I got it. Of course, you don't have to take care of the zombie if you don't want to, actually. So I think I'm not going to do it. Because at the moment, I'm kind of struggling a little bit. And I'm curious what I'm supposed to do next. Let me get me more food here. I think now that we got the bones... Oh, hold up. There's more. What? Hmm. So how, do I, how many do I have to find... Actually, I think I have them. Yeah, I think we have all the bones that we need. I don't think you need multiple of them. There you go, buddy. Get out of here. I like that you can also loot these corpses. Hmm. Hmm, you found one. Great job. Excuse me for a second. I'm going to make something special out of this. Okay. What is that? Hmm. New quest available. A special gift. I have created something very special out of an animal skull. But see here, it's private and I don't want just anyone to know about it. I don't know. Maybe later I'll show you if I know I can trust you. You know, maybe you can earn that trust? I put what I made into this metal box. Deliver it to Corpse Creek. Set it on the anvil where the forge used to be. Uh, deliver the locked casket to Corpse Creek and put it on the anvil. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we got what he uh, wanted me to deliver, right? Oh, look at this. We can make even better tools now. We can make a lumberjack axe, a common tool. And of course, this one is better than the one we have. Hold these cards. How do I craft it, though? Can I craft it? Oh, never mind. I think I have it in my back, in my hand, right? Hold on a minute. Yes, I can actually use it right now. Interesting. We do have a better one now. That was pretty sick. Let's see. Is this going to chop down the trees much faster? Yep, it definitely is. That is pretty sick. So if I go to the map, apparently I got to go here. Hmm. But in order to go there, I need glass. And I really have no idea how to get my hands on some glass here. And same for this one. We need glass. How can I make some glass? You know what, maybe I'm supposed to go back home to try to figure it out, right? Now, I don't see any possibility of fast traveling, so... Hmm. Yeah, I have to find a way to get some glass on my own. Although, I really don't know how to do it. Uh, we still don't have any water, though, which is kind of sad. Uh, this one could be open, let's see. No water source still. Seriously, game? Come on. Why is this even happening? I'm not going to get my hands on some water here. I have no idea. But of course, we need many more logs now if I want to keep on exploring. Come on, tree. Seriously, buddy. Oh, my God. Ooh, this one is doing a lot of damage to them now. All right, we got some bones. 
Let me get me more of these berries and start eating them as well. Now, I wonder if I can actually make some glass at the fire here. Hmm. Uh, open this one up as well. This one's going to be no water sources, unfortunately, but I'm going to choose this one either way. And our house is going to also be able to expand. Ooh, the farmlands. Water source. That is what I want, buddy. We need water source. We desperately, desperately need some water source. And fill up the jerry can. <sighs> Finally, uh, drink water. Man, we were really, really struggling here with, with waters, but finally we got what we needed. All right, let me eat a little bit. I have to figure out how to get myself um, my health back, though. Reduces when walking or harvesting. Can be restored by uh, resisting standing still or warming up near a fireplace. Ah, so maybe I can sit by a fireplace to uh, increase my health again. Hmm, I could try that. All right, so we need one more ingot. We need steel ingots, and then we're going to be able to upgrade this. But first, let's see. Let me drink water, eat a little bit of berries while we're at it. Let me fill. Oh, my God. I don't think we can fill this up anymore. That's kind of messed up, though. Uh, let me sit by the fire for a second to try to increase the health a little bit. We need to warm up a little bit here. Go. Pull to refuel or to cook. So what could I cook? I could make a carrot soup, but of course we don't have enough. Uh, I could make some tea. Let's make this one then. Let's make another one. And that's gonna be it. Uh, for the vanilla for the vanilla flour, we need more herbs, I guess. Flour, and that's gonna be everything, I guess. Oh look at this! We can make a bone axe. What? I don't have enough bones, actually. Never mind. And this one is a make a bone meal. Hmm. Hold up, buddy. Why did this one went off? Hmm. I think I need more wood if I want to get more fire. Yeah. Because I want to rest a little bit and increase my health back up. All right. Let's see. Can I actually rest here a little bit? Hold to light it up. Uh, and hold to fuel. Actually, you know what? I am seeing this symbol over here, and I think this is telling me that we are by a fire, right? Yeah, because if I do leave, uh, it's not going to give us any more health. So, let's see. What is this going to say? Fatigue reduces yada yada yada. That's going to be thirst. Or walking or harvesting. It can be restored by resting, standing still, or warming up near a fireplace. So, am I actually increasing the health here or not? I don't even know. I definitely don't see this thing going up, so I don't know if that's really doing anything. I feel like we are going to need some specific materials to be able to do it, though. Oh, I also see a timer on it. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's only increasing our fatigue. I don't know about the health, though. It does feel like the heart here is going a little bit up, but I'm not 100% sure. I may need to probably craft me something, like some bandages or something, to heal myself. So you know what? Let me explore the farm here for a second. And see what this is all about. And we'll add it. Collect some more resources here, I guess. Can connect that. Can I take care of this fellow, though? Oh, you know what? I think I can actually make some wheat. The thing is, I'm almost dead. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I really, really don't know. I don't know how to increase my health back up. And at the same time, I have no idea what's going to happen when I, once I'm going to die. Uh, am I going to spawn back in at the house or is the game going to be over? That's the question. And look at this. We got ourselves some wheat, which we're probably going to be able to transform into... Flour, maybe? Make some bread? Let me grab the last one while we add it. And what is this? I wonder. Oh, a pumpkin! <laughs> Interesting. Of course, we cannot grab any more water out of that, but can I go inside this hut? What can we find in here? Let's see. Uh, we got some stones. Let me use the pickaxe to break these open. There we go. Hold on, buddy. Break them open. 
I mean, I'm not really getting anything out of him, eh? Hmm. Yeah, never mind. I was expecting something out of him. Uh, let me pick up some apples. Flowers, I guess. Oh, uh, flower, not flowers. And I think that is about everything we can actually get over here. Interesting. I still don't know how to increase my health, though. Hmm. And I also still don't know how to make any... Uh, glass. I could go this way. Start exploring a little bit more. Now, the thing is, we gotta find the town, right? The Corpse Creek town. But I'm not 100% sure exactly where I'm supposed to go to find it. Alright, let me try to open up a few more places then. Let's see. Let's open this one up. This one is Tundra. Unfortunately, no waters. So I'm just going to open it like that. Let me get me more wood and uh, open up more places then. We were really, really lucky that we managed to find that part over there. Uh, the well with water. That was definitely something I was not expecting. I don't want to deal with the zombies because our health is already very low and I think we are going to die if I don't pay attention. Uh, let's go with, I guess, this. Of course, it's going to be zombies and this one's going to spit stuff at me, so I got to pay attention. No, run! Oh my god. Are you kidding me, buddy? Again, we are very, very thirsty. Can I even drink one of those teas? Let's see, seven. Ooh, it is increasing my thirst. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let me open up this one as well. And let's go with, again, Thundra. Let me get in some stone as well while we add it. And I think I want to try to get me all these berries at the top as well at the same time. We still haven't really figured out how to get me any tools here. Uh, to try to catch me some of these animals around. Hunt them down and cook them. I have a feeling I do have to find some more resources in order to upgrade, right, my workbench. But how am I going to get my hands on more resources then? I really, really don't know. Alright, awesome. Now, unfortunately, still, we're not increasing our health. It can be restored by resting, standing still, or warming up near a fireplace. Seriously? I never saw it happening, though. Um... Yeah, and we can still not upgrade. Oh, but we can make so much furniture. We got a smelter. I just noticed this. Are you kidding me right now? We got the ability to have an anvil eventually. Uh, crafting requirements. Of course, we need logs. Uh, I had no idea that I can make a smelter. But of course, we need coal. In order to get coal, I need to go by the fireplace right over here. I get it now. This makes so much sense. Oh, we can even cook stuff. With flour, <laughs> we can make an apple pie. We can make a um, bread, a huckleberry pie. What? Man, this flour opened up so many possibilities. Look at that. And cookies as well if you want to. Oh, we can make more wheat with it. Uh, actually, more flour. Hmm. Uh, hold up. We got to stoke this up. Let's fuel it up. Uh, let's also eat a pie. Perfect. Uh, fortunately, we don't have any more water, which is kind of bad. Uh, let me see if I can craft me something. What if I make... Oh, actually, we cannot make more of that. Um, let me make, actually, one of these. I do want to use all that wheat, right, to make flour, because with the flour, we can actually make other stuff. Oh, you know what? I think the health is actually increasing as you're sitting by the fire, yeah. It's definitely working. So we need a pumpkin, but we don't have that anymore. Let me make me more of these huckleberry pies. Uh, can I also craft... Hold up, I could have made something here, right? Some resources. Uh, like coal. How can I make coal? <laughs> Toilet paper? Seriously? Or fabric? Oh, so you can make glass. I get it. 
Uh, I think I don't have any more wood yet to stoke that fire. I kind of like this, although uh, this version that, although this game that we're playing right now, this is an early access, uh, it doesn't really feel like an early access. It feels like you can actually play the game constantly and keep on going here and explore the world as much as possible, and I kind of like that. Now, we are going to have to find another water source, because without it, we're going to be screwed. Uh, what can I craft? Oh, there we go. This is the coal that I wanted to make. I think we need two of them, but I'm gonna make four just in case. Actually, never mind, we don't have any more woods. Take it. Man, we're kind of going through wood like crazy, eh? All right, let me grab me all these pieces of wood over here and stone as well while we're at it. Here we go, we got a little bit more here. Now, can I get me something from these flowers? Uh, oh, we can. What is that? Sulfify. Not sure what that is. Probably a new recipe or something. What about these flowers? Nope, we cannot grab these ones. Well, in that case, let me eat up all the uh, berries that we got. Uh, hold up. Do I have something in the backpack? I want to try to eat this one. It's not giving us any... No, it's actually minus thirst. Oh my god. So that is actually pretty bad. Hmm. Yeah, let me eat all these berries because we are really thirsty right now, and I have no idea how to fix this. If I'm checking the map, this is where I gotta go, right? But if I wanna go there, I need... Uh, glass. So let me try to make me some glass over here. If that would work, I don't even know if that's gonna work. Require smelter in the... Ah, so we need to go to the smelter. I get it now. Interesting. Well, in that case, can I cook something while we're at it, while we're here? Uh, we don't have hemp. Hmm. That's kind of a problem. We are very thirsty, and we have no source of water at the moment. Uh, but I have to make a smelter really fast right over here. Uh, let's see. So if I want to make a smelter, I got to go in this one. Furniture, smelter. Right. Uh, now that we have the smelter, I gotta go into... Where is the smelter? I wanna place it, but I have no idea what it is. Furniture. There we go. Um, this one is going here somewhere. Actually, can I put it outside? No, we can only put it inside right over here, I guess. There we go. And let's see. Hold to light up. I know I'm thirsty. I know. I don't know what to do, though. So now we can finally make iron ingots uh, using this with rocks. Let me make a few of them. I don't know how many we need, but I'm going to make all of them. There we go. Let's also make iron ingots. Two of them, I guess. And that's going to be it because we don't really have anything else that we can do. Workbench, fire, anvil. Oh, look at this stuff. So we can actually improve our stuff uh, because we are we're actually doing right now blacksmithing, which means we can do better pickaxes, better axes, and other stuff as well. Leather. Oh, I died? No, did we actually just die? <laughs> I think we died of thirst. Are you kidding me? No way that just happened. So, of course, if you do die, we're losing all the map progress. Are you kidding me? What? That is so interesting. I kind of like the idea, though. If you are going to die because this is a survival game eventually, uh, you're not really losing the resources that we got by the looks of it. We still have everything that we used to have in our backpack. And we still have the, ho the house built up and everything that we're building here. But uh, we did lose all the tiles that we placed currently. And I have a feeling that the tiles are actually going to reset eventually. Now, I do see that the quest, the mission that we have, this one is also active. So, we're just going to have to make our way there, I guess, and open that up. But, I kind of like the idea of the game so far. Of course, we got to pay attention on everything on the right side here. Make sure none of these bars are going to go down. Because if you, they are, you are going to die of thirst or hunger or every single one of them. 
But anyway, guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. A quick preview here of uh, Above Snakes. And if you all enjoyed this and want to see more like this in the future, once the game is going to come out, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you leave a like as, as well, as that's definitely going to help the channel quite a lot. And if you all want to support the project right now, you can do it on Kickstarter. Check out the link down below in the description. Or simply just add it to your wish list on Steam if you just want to wait for this game to come out. Alright, stay safe everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye!